Welcome back. We managed to retrieve Maureen's welder. So, we um, can move on to look for some forks and some gas. Which means we need to go back to the road, which is on this side of the screen. Apparently. Um, let's see. I'll most suggest that we could find some forks at the junkyard. Which I think this guy actually owned, so... I have a, some doubts that he's gonna help us find them. Let's see uh, if we can get in there. Ourselves, Todd's Junkyard. Todd's Junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah, I knocked him out. Yeah, that's probably not gonna help. Entrance. <laughs> it's always helpful if they, all they do is read the sign. Just in case, you know, the player can't read or something. Heavy looking. It's apparently a rolling door, like a garage door. Open up, Todd. We know Todd's not in there. And apparently neither is anyone else. At least, um, they're not opening if they are. There's a latch here, though. No luck. This should be easy. It's unlocked. Okay, so I guess it can be opened, but not by hand. Open up, Todd. That's not helping either. Okay, what's this? A chain. I hear a dog. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. I heard a dog. I wonder if that's inside the junkyard. I hope not. Maybe we can climb this chain. Or pull on it and see what happens, anyway. It opens the door. Yeah. Now, we could ask Mo for help to hold this open. Except, you know, it's an adventure game. You can't. That would be the logical thing to do, after all. We can't have that. And it seems we can't actually open this. But... Maybe there is another way we can get in. We'd need something that keeps this open once we've pulled it up, or... I don't know, something else. And I do think there's a dog in here. At the moment, though, I don't think we actually have anything that can help with that. We have uh, a jerry can. Hmm. This hose smells like gas. A gas hose? It's a lockpick. Well, there was no lock on there, so that's no use. Ah. That sounds like it uh, could be useful for the dog, the steak, but that's after we get inside. So let's see if we can do something else first, before we try to break in here. Let's see, there's a fuel tower over here. Which might be the best place to find some petrol. Very futuristic looking uh, fuel tower. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. If only. Can't get to it from here. I'm not putting my lips on that. Let's take a look. The top of this fence is electrified. So I'm guessing we're not climbing over it. The top of this fence no. is electrified. Hmm. I hope the gate's not electrified. Only one way to find out. 
was locked. Don't think so. Looks a bit too heavy to be knocked down like that. Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I couldn't break that lock. Can't even kick it off. But we have a lock pick. That should be helpful. Just threw that perfectly good lock on the ground there. We can use that. Potentially. It's open. Can we close it? It's open. Not from here. Besides, then we'd have to pick it again to open it. Alright, now we can go in, so it should be no problem now. A ladder. Hmm. Oh, I thought that might have been a sign, but it's also ladder. Well, you gotta climb ladders. Um, oops. Looks like they didn't see us. Hmm. This could prove to be a problem, however. Let's try it again. Maybe if we just do it really quickly. Let's quickly climb. I'm sure we can make it. I'm sure that happens to a lot of guys. Obvious joke is obvious. Hmm. What to do? Just gonna do that again. Maybe we can make it this time. a strange concept of justice in this county. That um, is kind of annoying though. We've already seen that we can run away and they won't see us, but that doesn't particularly help either. But maybe there's something else we can do. You can actually hide back here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. It's kind of hard to see where you're supposed to go there. Must 
run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Well, that's a difference at least. They're up on the tower now, so something tells me going up there now is not a good idea. Don't think so. And Ben agrees. I don't trust anything without wheels. And look at that! This uh, hover car, hover sled, whatever, has a gas cap. I'd say that's where the gas goes. So, if we can't get it from the tower, we'll get it from another source. Oh, I did not click right. And this is the reason why you can use the mouth on anything, because this is the one time in the game that you're supposed to use it. <laughs> on something that's not a person. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick! You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call him quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. That doesn't sound good. Also, I would be amazed if there was still any gas in there after the way he ran with it, but... <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Lateral thinking, that's what it's about. We weren't supposed to get it from the gas tower, you were supposed to get it from the hovercraft. And that same principle of lateral thinking is also how we're going to get into this here junkyard. But we'll see how to do that in the next video.